Hey guys, what's up? Hey, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel lately and uh, and shown so much love. You guys are the best, man. Uh, I think every single day I'm getting a new person to subscribe to my channel, and it's just so awesome seeing the growth because uh, I don't know if you know or not, but these videos aren't exactly uh, the easiest thing to put together. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, and you know when you work full time and you're a daddy, you still you got it's hard to to squeeze that little bit of time in to do you know something that I love to do. Uh, but I do it anyways. So the other day, it was really pretty outside. So I took the opportunity to go outside, get the kayak out, and do a little walk around, do a little video on the kayak. Um, if you are not familiar with kayaking, this is a great kayak to begin with. Um, it's not the absolute cheapest, but it's not super expensive. It's definitely a great beginner kayak. And actually, I mean, it's just a good kayak overall. It's a sit on top. And... I would keep it. Uh, I'm going to a pedal drive system, which is a bit more expensive. Uh, but if you're just getting into it, I would definitely look into this rather than getting, you know, one of those cheap kayaks. I think I said it when I was recording, but you know, you buy nice or buy twice. So uh, definitely do your research when you want to buy a kayak. But here is mine, and maybe this will be an idea for you on something that you can get to actually get out in the water. Now it's great, I mean it's a sit on top and you can stand up on it. So I stand up on it all the time and I do all kinds of casting and I, I haven't fell off of it yet, knock on wood. So my daughter made a cameo in this video so she's all, all over the place. Here you go, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about it because hey, we're trying to get out there. Thank you guys so much. Beautiful, a beautiful day. And here's the yak. I got her. One point. I don't know what she's doing. I have no idea. But let me break it down for you. This is the Ascend 12T. Got it from the Bass Pro Shop. That's my dog, and that's her hole. Athena, why are you digging holes? Why are you digging holes? So she can lay a poop in there. So she can lay a poop in there. All right, so with this yak, let me free this thing up a little Get bit. Get back! Oh my goodness. With this yak, I believe this is the perfect kayak for a beginner and someone just getting into it. It's not super expensive, but it's not the cheapest. But I will say this. I will say this, and some people disagree, but there's a lot of people that do agree on this, is you buy nice or you buy twice. So uh, don't waste your money buying something, going to Walmart and buying one of them cheap little kayaks that you're not going to enjoy. I did that, and I sold it, like I said, before I put it in the water for the first time. So back to talking about this yak. It is a 12-foot sit-on-top kayak and you can stand on it that platform right there provides plenty hey get how about take that out of there until the video is done crazy say hi hi she got messy hair anyways you can stand on top of this kayak very confidently i use it all the time in fact sometimes i even stand on there like it's a like it's a paddle board <laughs> so as you can see you got Plenty of room to store stuff in there. You got your little compartment here for, I don't even know what I put in there. I think I put my scupper plugs in there. Yeah, scupper plugs. The scupper plugs that came with it, they're, they're pretty good. You don't really need to buy any special ones, but I did just because uh, you want to? I'm bougie. Uh, my foot rest like that broke off shortly after getting it, but it hasn't made much of a difference. Plenty of room up top for storage. Put stuff in there. In the back, you got plenty of room. Really good handles. Mine haven't broke. 
uh, it's worked pretty well for me. There's your rod holders, drain plug. Here's how it looks when I set my crate in, in here. Gotcha! It sets right there. And I said to where it opens. Hold on. I try to set up the crate where it opens like, like this. All right, so I try to set it up where my crate opens like this using my left hand because when I'm sitting up front here, I'm fishing or whatever, I use my you know non-dominant hand or as we say in the military, my non-firing hand and uh, I use that to open this crate. <laughs> okay, so I use these little, these little tie downs that I made with 550 cord and uh a little 550 cord and a little cheap carabiners be careful don't fall this thing is not stable and uh you know i'll clip one to there so if i roll then 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 it, if it falls out it'll still be attached to the kayak so moving on to what we did with the seat when you, when you first buy this kayak the seat sets one bar sets in here and the other goes in this little track and uh i will tell you from experience that that is an uncomfortable way to go i like to sit up a little higher so what we did your hair is crazy so what we did and when i say we i mean uh my friend grant basically we got some uh these little metal rods we measured them out we measured basically we measured them out to where they would fit sitting right on top of there just like that that's the only thing that's holding the back in it's just sitting there it's not it's not drilled in or anything it just sits on top which is fine because i mean you ain't going nowhere and then the other side we measured we measured it to sit right in this groove right here sometimes you gotta finesse it and play with it a little bit <laughs> Yay! But let me see if I can set this up where you can see it a little better. So we use these little nuts. When we, when we set this up, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so when it's setting in there, these will just line up with that hole. I put it in this way. So that is what secures it. Boom. It's like that on both sides, although I'm not securing that one just because I'm just showing you guys. But that, what that does is it elevates your seat from sitting here, way up here. So when you're sitting in the kayak, that makes a big difference. Um, so much less pressure on your knees. You know, us old guys, we can't sit very long. But me, I stand up in the kayak more than I sit down probably anyways. But yeah, that's a little walk around on my kayak. The uh, Ascend 12T from Bass Pro Shops. Another thing that is a must when you get a kayak, in my opinion, which I cannot find mine, so me, I may have to buy a new one. Yay me, is a paddle. You, you're probably going to want to get a better paddle. You gotta remember the paddle is what's driving the boat so you're gonna want to get something nice and sturdy and something that's a little longer because <laughs> size does matter sometimes oh yeah the number one thing the number one thing you have to do and this your kayak may sink without these oh you gotta put them big red one stickers on there <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, that's enough with the kayak. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of the kayak. Because I'm, cause I'm going to get a new kayak. I'm going to get a, a Hobie Compass, which is a pedal drive. This is a great kayak for pedal drive, but I want a pedal drive so I can just be more free and be able to do go places more confidently than this because sometimes when you get to paddling out there and you're paddling out for three or four hours you gotta remember you gotta come back home sometime Woo. chevy what 
What uh? What are you doing? Seeing anything at home? What are you doing? Just seeing anything at home. And you heard it first.